In December 2018, I was offered a unicorn level vacation job by CP Dynamics. Specifically, this guy. I was tasked with investigating and implementing the Donkey Car, an open source self-driving library powered by machine learning. This thing kept me busy well into 2019. I fell in love with it so much that I convinced CPD to sponsor it as my final year project. This is my 2020 in three minutes or less. Do your worst. I am an absolute machine learning beginner. I want to know how the base neural network works, make my own, and get it to work in different environments. So, here's my plan. Get to know neural networks as thoroughly as possible. Figure out how to design one for myself without diving down the rabbit hole. Design one and make it generalize. Here's what went down. I dug myself through piles of research and spent way too much time on the literature study. This was to make sure I had a handle on the building blocks and solution options available to me. I could now sit down to work on my design. The issue with neural networks is that they don't lend themselves kindly to traditional engineering design, being too black boxy and data dependent for the stock calculate, simulate, go and make cycle to be practical. These things have been designed before though, and all the standard model building blocks that I required have been established over years of research. I could also dig into the established neural net design methods of Ian Goodfellow and Francia Trollet. After scribbling out how to represent my process, I merged their recommendations and some of the system's engineering concepts that I have learned throughout my study. This final design methodology was a cyclical process of experiments, measure, document, tweak and repeat till I was happy with the results. This process was conducted on Colab notebooks and logged on Neptune where I kept each model that was trained, its performance metrics and major characteristics. The overall progress and results of my experimental process were summarized in my report. I spent this time running experiments, selecting my model architecture and playing around with some generalization techniques. The two techniques I settled on using were feature engineering and data diversification. September was spent integrating the models into the Donkey Car Simulator. One major hurdle was discovering that the TensorFlow version used to train the models was incompatible with Donkey Kong's default, and I had to sort this out. Once that was out of the way, I was able to run my models in the simulator and begin tweaking my process further. The models were easily referenced with the Donkey Kong's drive command, so I did not have to implement them directly in the Donkey Kong's code. The Donkey Kong works with the parts methodology, where the image from the input camera is passed through a series of functions one by one. I sandwiched a custom part containing my lane detection algorithm in between the camera and controller parts. The rest of October was spent ironing out my design documents and ensuring my metrics were valid. In November, I set up and ran a formal evaluation where I compared each model and generalization method. My lane detection algorithm, combined with training on a diverse dataset, came out on top. This was also where I rounded off my project as a whole and had a good long look at what I did and what I could have done better. For example, the whole design issue was very prominent. There are a myriad of great ways to do lane detection and generalization that I did not get a chance to investigate properly because I was so focused on the design. The ultimate goal of the Donkey Car is to have as many people involved with and learn from this platform as possible. It is a great base on which to build projects. For example, a PRD controller that adjusts speed based on the rate of change between features and images. You can also train a dedicated feature extractor on hundreds of unique road datasets and apply those features to the donkey car via transfer learning. At the end of it, I must thank my supervisor, Prof Kenny Uren, for his excellent guidance throughout this project. I can also not get away without thanking Casper, Alan and CPD for mentoring me, sponsoring this project and enabling this idea in the first place. Until next time.